Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewelry Making Fun Collaboration for 2023. I am your host, um, Deb, with Dahlia Designs, Jewelry and More. And this is a an annual collab. We're on the last two months here, November and December. This is November. So every month we have required color combinations. Can be one, like all blues, or it can be multiple ones that I spelled. It's multiple this time. And then we have two optional challenges. So for the month of November, um, sorry, I hit the mic. Um, the colors are traditional Christmas colors, red, green, white, gold, and or silver. So any combination. And optional challenge one is to make an ornament. And optional challenge two is use colored wire or exposed colored beading wire cord or thread. So I did make a few easy ornaments. I, I did not do, I used to make a lot of those uh, round ornament covers, you know, with bead weaving. I just don't seem to have the patience for it anymore. So I did not do that. And one of them I'll show you at the end, I really don't like at all. But I have this, um, I think it's called Zari thread. It's textured. I'll show you the green and red one is what I used. Um, and because I figured I could use green, plain green for other things and red. But I have like, I don't know, six or seven boxes of this stuff in different colors, like white, blue, gold, silver, you know. And there's tons of it on each skein, I guess I'll call it. I got these from JewelryMaker.com many years ago, 2015. That's six years ago already. Can you believe that? So anyway, I did three ornaments, all, oops, yeah, all the same, <laughs> well, almost all the same. Um, I just put the Zari stuff at the top to be the holder. And then I have these Lampwork Glass Santa Happies. They're from Oriental Trading. I don't think they sell any of their... They don't have much in the way of jewelry stuff anymore. Let me put it that way. and Or beading. And um, all these things. I have um, these this Christmas glass pearl mix from the same place, Oriental Trading. These um, bicones in, I think, in two sizes in red, green, and clear. Oriental Trading, and then this mix, which is some opaque and some clear tubes, rounds, and smaller tubes, um, Oriental Trading. And then lastly, I had these red, green, and white little baubles. Those were from Jesse James Beads. They had, um, they used to sell, I think I got them on clearance, actually. And I bought two sets of them, but I used one of each color on these. Um, and I used one of each color on another one that I, I don't know if I'll show you at the end or not. Because <laughs> I might, I'm probably going to redo that one, change it up. And then I used this, um, I have this maroon red artistic wire in 24 gauge. Um... Yeah, it's copper, what coated copper wire, and I had gotten that from beadcrate.com. You know, they used to have their their bead box, or maybe they still do. I don't know, but I have several of those, and that was from 2016. And I think that's mostly it for this one. So what I did is I took a long piece of the 24 gauge wire, I just looped it through the bobble. And then I ran both strands, because it's thin, I ran it both, both strands up through here. And then um, I just did a continuous loop. I don't usually like doing those, but I thought for this it was okay. And that way you can maybe see more of that beading wi the wire, the artistic wire. And then this is, of course, the I just did a double knot at the top of these. And I will put a dab of glue because these fray. I didn't do that yet. Uh, and I might put a dab of glue on the wire and here, too, where the circle ends. Because it's hard to, unlike a regular wrapped loop, you can't really tuck it in real good. And I don't like having sharp ends, for sure. Not all of them have any end, but that one I could feel something. So this one has a green bobble. I just changed the order of these three tubes, but I left the um, 
the hat and the clear bicone on the top the same and some of them had more wire left at the top than others and I just did the best I could with them and I just kind of changed the order of you know here's green white and red and then these are red green red and green red green <laughs> you know you get the idea and a different bobble at the end of each one so those are those three they're a little long let's see how long they are but they're all right for a tree I like I like stuff like that uh, that about about that length they're about four inches roughly um, well and then probably around two inches on these but if somebody didn't want all that length they could put one of those um, Christmas ornament hooks through the loop and cut this off if they wanted to and that would make it a little bit shorter but those are about it depends on what size of those you get some of them are long and some are short so then I have um, this one now for this one I had these um, bead caps from where did I get them from Beadaholic <laughs> pewter floral bead cap yeah um, and I also had this green marcasite uh, pre-made chain from Jewelry Maker um, silver plated brass chain that's the links with um, green marcasite plain rounds and I think they're six millimeter and this is what it looks like I don't really care for it too much for jewelry because um, some of them the green has worn off and stuff and I thought well it'd be all right for ornaments so yeah but if it says green then it better be green right and I'm afraid to sell it as jewelry for fear you know the rest of the green like that one's really green and some of them are more gray anyway I just cut um, I think seven link seven one two three four five six yeah seven on one six on this one and I think one two five on this one so they'd be different lengths and then I just used that same maroon wire and I did those um, well that one I didn't most of these I did one of those little knots where you make a few loops then you go back up with the wire at the end uh, for the head pin I made my own head pins basically what I'm telling you <laughs> and then I had kind of goofed on which colors to put together at the bottom so they'd all be different so I had two extra dangles and I thought well I'll just make another one and add them onto the chain because I thought it was a little too blah anyway so it adds a little mo more sparkle now that one is a little long and then these are just the same um, oriental trading round beads out of the one with the tubes and uh, the clear bicones and the glass pearls um, that one is longer and I thought maybe I should shorten it but I'm not going to it's about four and a quarter from the top of here and then add about two inches so it's almost six inches that is a long one that might be good for if you don't have cats or maybe don't have dogs either that might be good for on the bottom of the tree you know or up high and then dangling down I was afraid maybe the green the dark green also wouldn't show too much on the tree because green you know also but um, unless you have a white tree or something or silver or gold or whatever colors they have now I have no clue I always get traditional green I'm more of a traditional person and uh, for Christmas so anyway that's another reason I added the sparkles in because I thought they they'd show up especially the clear ones and stuff and there's clear here and I do have exposed wire there and then of course the the rope to hang it with and these are all wire wrapped onto the last bead link or one of the bead links except for these ones up high I put them onto the bead link with a four millimeter jump ring so those are my ornaments that I'm not too embarrassed to show I still feel like they're pretty simplistic but you know it's okay but this one I was trying to do something with just the thread and it's going to come apart I mean it's going to I'm going to take it apart because a 
I don't like the stuff is fraying all over the place. I um I originally just put I had what I did is I took a long strand of each color, the green, the red, and the green and red, and I doubled it over, put a wire wire through it, and made a wire wrap loop with this bicone on top. So that part's okay down to there. <laughs> But then when I started to put these on, I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Um, so, yeah, and then I thought, well, I should have used ribbon ends or something. I might have some small ribbon ends, and that would have been better than having to tie knots and have this fraying happening. So this is going to come apart. These were some large hole beads I had, but I didn't want to tie, like, a massive knot on one end, so I just wrapped it around them. I don't like that either. And I didn't have too many colors of those. I had these two sort of goldish ones and one green. And then I didn't have any red. I only had pink. So that one's going to come apart. But, um, because I'm going to take it apart. But that's it. Those are my projects for Jewelry Making Fun Collab this month. And, um, also, if you are in the collab already, Please check your emails. I still have four or five people that haven't responded to me about 2024. And I really would like your answer by Thanksgiving because uh, I'm going to finalize the list. And I'm, pr I'm probably going to also do a call for collaborators. I had one person that's going to drop. I won't say who right now. You'll see the list next year. Um, but if anybody out there watching this is interested in participating in this collaboration for the whole year of 2024, uh, we will have different color prompts. Some of them may be similar, but some are going to change up. Um, and if you have any suggestions for those, let me know that too for our color combos and um, our optional challenges. And because uh, I haven't made next year's list yet. So... I always change it every year, at least somewhat. And last year, this this year, I changed it pretty drastically from the prior year. So anyway, um, yeah, for those of you that are already in the club, please check your emails and respond to me as soon as possible. And um, I will be doing a call for collaborator uh, video to see if there's anyone else out there who would like to participate. But if you're watching this and you're interested, like I said, go ahead and email me. My email for purposes of this will be down in the um, description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Hugs, love, and peace. Hey everyone, I'm back real quick. I um, took that one apart that I didn't like and I just left, I kept the baubles out and I just used shorter lengths of the uh, green marcasite chain and just put the baubles on the end. They're very lightweight. And so that is what I did for the last one. I was able to cut the Zari thread off and leave this part intact that's wire wrapped because there was a loop in here and I just used an oval jump ring. I have to close it a little better. It's really hard to get in there and close it, but I'll wiggle that more. And um, so that's the last one. Just a simple, a little bit shorter length, which is I think better, and just the lightweight baubles on the end. I don't really like using them for jewelry too much. Maybe some fun earrings or something, but I still have one set. See, I have one set of red. I'll probably make another ornament sometime, probably next year. All right, guys, that's all. Thank you. I just wanted to give you an update. Thanks for watching. Bye.